Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. I am your host, Fields and Skylines, and this is Let's Play White Farm. We are now in May. And we got some jam to sell. I got it all nicely stacked. Um, do need to do some straps, though. There we go. So yeah, so we got our jam loaded up. We're going to go sell it. Uh, I haven't done any field work yet because I loaded up the trailer for jam. Um, not quite sure where we're going to sell it, but I think it will be somewhere, somewhere good. Um, trying to figure out, Ugh, there we go. Having a hard time seeing. We pulled that up. All right, hopefully we'll be able to, as you can see in May, it's at its highest point. Um, 12.42 at the wholesale. Um, so we'll take it there. It's a pretty good price. It is the time of year to sell. I don't know how much we have here. I didn't, I lost count, but 369. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty, two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-three. Looks like we have thirty-three uh, cartons, pallets. Oh, I could have just looked at the thirty-three thousand liters. And no, that was thirty-three. And I don't want to tip over, so I need to slow it down uh, because tipping over would be very bad so I am going to set my cruise way down to about 30 and then I think we'll be alright trying to get there we're going to take the back country road and we'll get this sold uh, we also have to sell milk we have to sell eggs uh, I don't know why it looks like my truck is leaning. If it's the feel, or if it is my truck. This is scary. Because I don't want to have to, like, undo this all. Load it. So, yeah, so in April, uh, we planted corn. And we took care of that field, we rolled it and fertilized it and all that. We also mowed. So I got hay put away, uh, the grass silage is turning into silage. I have that just up on a trailer. Um, so once we're done selling here, I will probably do all the farm work of planting, or planting, of feeding cows, feeding chickens, selling the eggs, selling the milk. We have all that we need to get done. Some of that will be off camera. Um, we need to spray down the cornfield with herbicide to get the weeds. And that's about all we have in this episode. So not a lot to do well, this month. And I think that'll probably also be the episode. So I always say it's not a lot to do. By the time I'm done doing all of it, uh, it, it seems to be a lot longer than I think it is. So... We should also water all of our strawberries, so those up. Uh, probably have to move. You know, check around, check our straw, check all that as well. So here we are, We're coming into the warehouse. We are selling. Um, we made forty thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars and four thousand four hundred eleven in our environmental score. At that is wonderful so the other thing I want to discuss is I think I solved um, the pig food issue and it involves using this trailer so I turned this trailer into an auto load trailer because in my testing this trailer could auto load um, that pig food and so I could just pull it next to it. I didn't need a um, 
anything to pick it up. It was just pretty much automatic. Um, so, I think what we'll do is just use this trailer and get it to the farm, and then I can unload this trailer. And what it does is it unloads like five big bags of a thousand liters each. Um, And then I can use a uh, hook with the front loader to move those bags into the feed area. So I think that's what we'll do. Um, so I gave the pigs 5,000 more liters of food last month just to test that out um, to see if it really would work. And it did. So. I think that will solve our pig problem, pig feeding, pig feeding problem for now. Still don't have a solution for this field. Uh, one thing someone told me was I should maybe try once I harvest this field, just plow, giving it a brand new plow. Uh, take the hit and just plow it up and replant it. Another person said, you know, I could try using. Uh, a different type of crop, not a row crop, but uh, something else, and go with that. So, yeah, that is the other options. Uh, so, yeah, that is some possibility as well. As you can see, the benefit of the auto load, I can now just auto load the eggs, don't have to worry about. Uh, forklifting them. So it does not auto load the jam, unfortunately, which you could see those were real jam crates. I don't know why jam doesn't auto load, but it does. So that's a little upsetting. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and get a worker on to. Um, get these sold I will probably jump into a time lapse here shortly to uh, feed the chicken uh, feed the cows and we'll, you know get some of that stuff done here in a time lapse let's see what am I looking for eggs so yeah so yeah we'll start the time lapse off as soon as I get this um, driver out oh, let's see 1988 at the fast food restaurant not too far of a drive all righty so i guess we will uh we'll see you all in a bit
We are back. Everything done, pretty much on the farm. We just have to water the strawberries. And like I said, we have to spray down the corn. All in all, I think it was a pretty successful sale of strawberries, milk, and egg. We sold also a couple cows that were pretty old. Um, on both from both pens and we replaced them with some younger cows cows max value is fifteen hundred dollars uh, I believe they hit that at 25 months maybe 24 months but they have their cap at 27 months so I am going to try to sell cows around 27 months. I forgot I was going to do that. So we have some catching up to do. I didn't do all of them today because then we kind of have to spread them out a little bit. But um, in the future, we're going to try to sell them all in 27 months. So there's that. So we made some money. I am going to pay off some loan here as I go through these strawberries and try to water them. Let's take a look at finances. Um, paid four hundred dollars in interest last month. The loan's at one hundred and twenty. I could pay the whole thing off and be left with about thirty-seven thousand. But I think right now I'm going to just pay twenty. Well, before we pay off the loan, <laughs> let's take a look and see if there's anything interesting for sale. There is a dribble bar or a shoe. A Fiat. That would be a good tractor for Port Farm. Not a good tractor. Well, it'd still be a good tractor here too, but we don't need a tractor right now. So nothing here that we need. Uh, so we will pass. So we will pay a little extra off on the loan. Um, pay 20 grand. 100 grand left on that loan. We should be able to knock that out a little sooner than later, but right, this is where it starts to get a little tricky. And now, I know we shouldn't drive over our strawberries, however, it's a tough one to water right here. Okay. And then we have a few more. I did put out a few more strawberry fields. I'll put one over here, at least just one more. Maybe we'll plant another one here in the future. But, oh my goodness. Turning left on this controller. I think my controller left is bad because sometimes like when I go left you can see the tires don't even move and sometimes they do so we are all watered up I think that it's all of our strawberry fields I don't think I'm putting it over there um, so we'll use the additional water here at the um, maintenance shed, which I may need to check to see if it's running. I don't think we need to be running it quite right now. Pretty sure it's full up. It probably has used up everything that's in there. Productions. Oh no, it's still going strong. Um, that's because we just added water. So I am going to just turn all this off. As you can see, we have herbicide, we have liquid fert, and we have solid fert all stirred up here for a while. We could definitely bring in more manure and more water. Um, but for now, we're just not going to do that. We're going to get our field sprayed. And then we could talk about 
future of White Farm because I feel like we have this expansion done and like now we're just like, hey, let's pay off our loan. But what are we really going to do other than just pay off the loan? Like, what is our next set, next set of goals? So I think it is to a well fix that one field that for some reason is not allowing me to plant it. Uh, but other than that, I think we need to buy some more fields and maybe do a little more arable. Um, once I get spraying, I can maybe set up a worker. And we can pull up a map while the worker's running. Take a look at some of the things we could do. But on the way, we're going to stop and fill up full since we have about 18% we can put in or not oh it was just right there start there we go start filling stuff filling that was quick um yeah I think we're gonna buy some more land we need um, I don't know if we need any more grass right now, but I think another bigger field that we could plant um, another good crop in would be good to do. I think I kind of like a few options. Let me... As that unfolds, we can take a look at the map. So there's a few options. They're all pretty pricey, right? So we can buy 16 here. Um, it's showing it for 151,000, and that would give us this complete square. And what could that do? Well, we could make one big grass field, plow it all into one, and then one big other field, which doesn't give us another crop, but it does give us another larger field. Um, I'm also thinking about, like, if I have to replow this field, I'm thinking about combining it and plowing down the middle here and making this one big field. And so we would only have, you know, a big grass field, a little grass, a field, a field, and a field. So to me, this is the prime field that will get us there. And it's 151000 So I think it's within our means to afford, afford it, be able to afford it in a relative shorter period of time. Uh, if we wanted to be just grass farmers and watch me mow all day, this would be the field. But it is 200,000. It's way too much, right? So I think just this is the field we focus on. Um, we could also focus on field two, which it's pr pricey as well. That's 300,000. But I think that's a future, future field. Um, same with anything up this way or anything down this way or this way. I think it's eight, this 24 here, and two might be the three kind of like end game type of, hey, that's our farmland, maybe throw in 29. You know, that's our farm. I don't know, something like that. Maybe not quite two and maybe not eight, but like if we get this field here, it kind of starts to make sense how these fields are. Um, and I get like strip cropping, strip planting is a thing, but um, I think it would make sense to have one big grass field together and then one big crop field with another big crop field and then a smaller crop field. And then I think this would become barley. This would stay corn. And this would be like soy or something like that. Um, so let me know down below in the comments what you think of that future expansion plan. I'm going to crack on here and turn on my crop sensor. I am going to turn that on. We are going to start weeding, spraying the weeds on this field. So yeah, let me know what you think on that expansion. I think that would make things really nice, especially if we could plow and connect the fields. I don't know how that applies then with the score of environmental 
um, precision, farming, environmental score. But we can find out together. So to me, it just makes sense. We can rent a plow, plow it out, and uh, replant things. Uh, we have to be careful when we do this replanting, though, because uh, you know we need to have grass, right? <laughs> it comes down to we have to have grass at the start of the year, so we have to have that field bought by November. Now we have some corn and some soybean we have to sell off, so I think we'll be able to afford it. I don't know what crop they planted in there. If they planted a row crop, I may just plant over it, and put the grass in, and expand the grass. And then we just have a whole bunch of extra grass that we can sell at some point. But in all seriousness, um, I think that's our plan. We try to buy that field in November so that we can um, get it ready and everything with grass so that our grass over there is good and then we can work these two fields and that those two fields together um, which I might just plow up those sunflowers and do that work when I do the barley this next barley season uh, but we shall see alright I am going to do a quick another quick time lapse here um let me know again down in the comments what you think and i will see you in a bit to wrap up So I was going to put the sprayer away, but I noticed there is a spraying contract, um, and I'm going to take it. Uh, it's three grand. We have basically free herbicide. I know that it's going to use a lot of herbicide to spray this field because uh, we won't. Well, I'll use the sensor, but I think on other people's land, it just sprays. But like I said, we have a lot of herbicide we can use that it's almost free. I mean, it takes um, like water, which we can get for free, and armadour and slurry. But uh, it does have a running 
cost. So yeah, it's not free, but it's almost free. It's a lot cheaper than just a regular herbicide. It makes these contracts a lot more valuable. Um, also, this field that we want to buy, or we were talking about buying, look, I'm pulling, there we go. I don't know. Might have to do some controller work. But yeah, that field that's in the middle here, um, we have to go right to it since we're going to 18. I'll just hop out. It looks like it's a row crop of some sort of root crop. Uh, potatoes. Yeah, so we aren't going to buy this field until after it's harvested. We are not harvesting it. So that's like September, October time. Maybe we'll be buying that field. Um, which gives us time to get enough money. We shouldn't be a problem because, like I said, we have a lot of corn to sell. We have a lot of um, soybeans we can sell. Um, so I'm not too worried. We can probably sell some silage because we're going to have some extra straw that needs selling. So, yeah, I think we'll be okay. There we go. I can't tell if it looks like it's doing its thing so yeah there we go um yeah so i'll spray this field make the almost you know twenty nine hundred dollars i'll try to do a little bit a couple extra contracts here just so that we can get a little extra money so we can for sure get that field but in the end i think it won't be that hard to do um and I think that makes sense. So, yeah. With that, though, I think that will be a good episode. Um, again, I'm trying to keep these episodes short, shorter than what they've been getting. Some of them are getting up to like 50 minutes, 55 minutes. So that's just a little long. Uh, working on that. Unless you want to see longer episodes, let me know about that in the comments. Longer episodes, shorter episodes or the uh, current goals that we set out for this map, uh, let me know. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy uh, the content I have been making, um, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, uh, if you have other friends who watch farming videos, feel free to share it with them. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. I hope to uh, see you next time. Goodbye.